My name is Versatile, and this is my way of fighting back against bad tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now host in Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great game tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to play StarCraft 2, Harder to Swarm, online using this emulator called Starfriend. And Starfriend, basically what it does, it allows you to create a dedicated server so other people can join the server and you can play. Or you can actually do a real LAN game no internet, no Tungo, no Hamachi, or any other VPN gaming programs, and have a lot of good times as well. This works with the legitimate copy of uh, StarCraft II Hard to Swarm, and also with the Starter Edition as well. It doesn't modify the original game files, so you can log on to Battle.net and play, or you can also use the StarFriend emulator and play, and still have a lot of good times both ways. That's awesome. So how does this work? You go to the more info section, I have a link to the forum, and here's a really short text tutorial, and I'll go over it real quick here. Bottom line is one, get the game. You can get the game for free, the starter edition from battle.net, and install this. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Once you have the game installed, you want to go ahead and log into the game once so you can actually see the main game menus, and then you log out of the game. Once you have done that, you want to get your StarFriend file. So get the latest version. Time this recording is 1.53, which is StarFriend. Get the latest map cache, and then what you want to do is extract the StarFriend, Extract your map cache into the correct folder within the, um, the StarFriend directory. Once you have done that, you want to install this Leatrix latency fix. And then after that, you're good to go. And I'll show you how to host a server or join a server and how to log in and basically have a lot of good times. So how does this work? So let's say you're brand new, right? So you go to battle.net. You download the executable installer for your region and you install it. And then you want to log in. Once you have done that, you're going to have this StarCraft 2 button. Click on that. Over here, originally, it's going to be something like install the starter edition. Go ahead and do that. The game is like 13 gigabytes, something to that effect. So you're going to have to wait a while. Once you're done, go ahead, click on play, and then log into the game one time, which means log into the main menu. When you see the main menu where all the buttons and the campaign and all that stuff, you're good to go. And then click on exit. So what's next? Basically what's next is you're going to download those files, like I said, the star friend and also the map cache. Double click on your star friend program, uh, zip file, excuse me. It's going to be a .7z file. So you might want to use like a program like 7zip on Windows to extract it. Go ahead, double click into that folder or actually just left click and drag it out. Drag it out into like a partition on your hard drive. So I've already done that before. Next thing you want to do is go into the map cache. Um, zip file or actually the .7z file. Once you're inside it, go ahead, drag and drop the Blizzard Entertainment folder and extract it into the root directory of your star friend folder. So go ahead and do that. So this is what the root directory looks like. Here's the Blizzard Entertainment and here you see what the file structure is like. Once you have done that, next thing you want to do is go into the Leatrix Latency Fix 1.23, run this install.vbs and it's going to tell you it, um, it's going to install it. And it may ask you to reboot your computer, so go ahead and do that. Once you are done, go back here and run the StarFriend client that executable. And let me show you how this works. It's pretty simple, guys. It's awesome. Okay, so let's say that you are a client and you want to join a server. Automatically here, there's some dedicated servers here. So I'm going to try to join this US server. And this US server, this dedicated server, has a lot of these different lobbies. So what I want to do, for example, is if I want to join a game or join a lobby and be a host, I'll just find one that says idle. So I double click on this here and I click on start game and then I'll log into the game, which I'll get to in a second and I'll be the host. And then I'll have my friends join the same dedicated server and I will invite them to my game, like the lobby with the maps and have a lot of good times. Or if someone else is already here like this, for example, waiting one player, I double click on this, start the game. I log into the game. I go into the star friend lobby and then the host can invite me to their game and have a lot of good times. If you're not interested in that, if you want to host your own server, let me show you how that works as well. You go to the server tab, you click on start server. And then what happens here is you're going to have a server port. Just make sure you port forward that port in your router, like uh, UDP and TCP, like 1120 or 1119. And also do the same thing for your 10,000 port as well in your router. Once you have done that, go back to the client. You want to say IP of my server, click on start game. And then you give your friends your WAN IP address, they join your game and you invite them and you have a lot of good time. So that is the tutorial in the nutshell. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stop my server. I'm gonna go back to client here. I'm gonna double click on this first 
uh, lobby here. Now I'm gonna click on start game, and then I'm gonna have my laptop do the same thing. Uh, whoever joins the lobby first is considered the host because they have stars next to their name, and whoever joins second, third, fourth are just other players' clients. So I'm gonna log in first, and then I'll have my laptop log in second, and I'll show you how to have a lot of good times. So let's do this. All right, here we are at the main menu of StarCraft 2 with Star Friends. So let's do this. So for the login information, you're gonna type in gg at gl.hf, click on connect, password is lowercase gg, and everybody has to do this. The host, whoever is the first person that enters, and then all the other gamers as well. So here, we're, here I am, I'm the host. I'm gonna go ahead to custom game, and I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the map list to load, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick a map ahead of time. In the meantime, I'm gonna have the laptop uh, join the game momentarily. But let me go ahead and pick a map real quick here. And one of my favorite maps is the four player map, Lost Temple. So we'll click on create game. And then pretty soon we're gonna be in the lobby, great. Now I'm gonna have the laptop go ahead and join the server right now. So log in and password, log in. Momentarily, if I go into the star friend down here, we'll see that there's somebody else that just joined the game, which is laptop, great. So what you gotta do is right click the name, go to invite to game. On the other person's computer screen, you're gonna get like a message saying, do you wanna join the game, like an invite. And basically you tell, basically you join the game or join through the invite and you'll be in the game. So my laptop is uh, lagging a little bit, but let me uh, work through this difficulty and momentarily the laptop will be joining here. And there is the laptop. So as a laptop, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join the other team, team two. Oh, let me change the mode here. So I'm gonna to go to mode free for all. Now we're good. And then just for kicks, I'm gonna click on start game here. And then that's it. And momentarily it's gonna be myself with myself basically. And we're ready to have a lot of good times. Okay, so we're in the game. Uh, we can see everything's working. If I press enter, I'm gonna say, hey, 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 hey. And the last time I'll say, he, 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 or whatever. And that's it. And you can go ahead and play it and have a lot of good times with StarCraft 2. Um, you know, with your family or with your friends or whoever. Other gamers online and have a lot of good times. So, if you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.